Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating research topic that explores the connection between employee motivation and quality defects in a manufacturing setting. Understanding this relationship is crucial for businesses striving to improve their production processes and overall performance. Let's explore the importance of this research with some real-world examples. Let's take a look at two manufacturing companies, Company A and Company B. Company A has a highly motivated workforce, where employees are provided with recognition, career growth opportunities, and a supportive work environment. On the other hand, Company B lacks a motivating culture, with employees feeling undervalued and underappreciated. Now, let's examine their performance. Company A consistently produces high-quality products with minimal defects, while Company B struggles with a higher rate of defects and customer complaints. This stark difference in performance highlights the potential link between employee motivation and the occurrence of quality defects. Thus, this research topic is of paramount importance for businesses looking to enhance their productivity and reputation in the market. Chapter 1 Introduction in Chapter 1, The Introduction, researchers lay the groundwork for the study. They address the following areas. Research Problem The research problem is the core issue that the study aims to address. An example of a research problem for our topic would be, does the level of employee motivation in a manufacturing setting impact the occurrence of quality defects? Research Significance The research significance outlines the importance of the study in the broader context. For instance, this research can provide insights for manufacturers to identify strategies to reduce quality defects and improve overall production efficiency. Research Questions Here are three sample research questions. How does employee motivation affect the frequency of quality defects in a manufacturing environment? What factors contribute to low employee motivation in a manufacturing setting? Can enhancing employee motivation lead to a reduction in quality defects? Research Objectives The research objectives are specific goals that the study aims to achieve. Here are three sample research objectives. To assess the correlation between employee motivation levels and quality defect occurrences. To identify the key drivers of employee motivation in a manufacturing setting. To propose evidence-based strategies to enhance employee motivation and decrease quality defects. Research Rationale the research rationale justifies why this study is essential. For example, the success of a manufacturing business heavily relies on both employee performance and product quality. Understanding the relationship between these two factors can lead to cost savings, increased customer satisfaction, and improved competitiveness. Chapter 2 Literature Review In Chapter 2, The Literature Review, researchers evaluate existing studies, theories, and models relevant to the research topic. Suitable subtopics for this research include Theoretical background discussing theories related to employee motivation, such as Maslow's hierarchy of needs and Herzberg's two-factor theory, can provide valuable insights into the topic. Quality management theories exploring quality management models like Six Sigma and Total Quality Management can help establish a connection between motivation and defect prevention. Employee Engagement and Performance Studying literature on employee engagement and its impact on performance can shed light on the role of motivation in a manufacturing environment. Theories and Models for the Research Some theories and models that can be adopted for this research are Expectancy Theory This theory posits that individuals are motivated to exert effort when they believe their efforts will lead to desired outcomes. In the manufacturing setting, employees who perceive their hard work as directly linked to defect reduction may be more motivated. Job Characteristics Model This model emphasizes that motivating jobs have specific characteristics, such as skill variety, task identity, task significance, autonomy, and feedback. Designing jobs in a way that incorporates these elements could increase motivation and reduce defects. Chapter 3 Methodology in Chapter 3, The Methodology, researchers outline the research approach, strategy, data analysis method, and ethical considerations. Let's explore how to draft each of these areas. Suitable Conceptual Framework For this research, a suitable conceptual framework could involve three independent variables, such as employee motivation, leadership style, and training opportunities, 
with the dependent variable being quality defects. Research philosophy. A suitable research philosophy for this type of research could be interpretivism, as it allows for a deeper understanding of the motivations and behaviors of individuals in the manufacturing setting. Research approach. Inductive research approach would be appropriate here, as it involves exploring data to generate theories and hypotheses based on observed patterns and trends. Research strategy. A mixed method research strategy, combining both quantitative surveys to gather numerical data on motivation levels and qualitative interviews to explore underlying factors, can offer a comprehensive view. Research choice. A cross-sectional research design would be fitting for this study, as it allows researchers to gather data from different employees at one point in time. Data analysis method. Quantitative data can be analyzed using statistical methods like regression analysis to assess the relationship between motivation and defects. Qualitative data can be subjected to thematic analysis to identify common themes. Ethical considerations. Ensuring the anonymity and confidentiality of participants' data is essential. For example, using pseudonyms in interviews and surveys can protect their identities. Research limitations and delimitations. Researchers must acknowledge potential limitations, such as a limited sample size or possible biases, and clearly define the scope of the study. Chapter 4 Data Analysis In Chapter 4, the Data Analysis part, researchers perform the recommended data analysis based on their chosen methodology. If the study is quantitative, they will analyze data using statistical methods like regression analysis to identify correlations. Let's illustrate how to do that. Quantitative analysis sample size example. Suppose the study gathers data from 200 employees working in a manufacturing setting. The researchers can use this data to calculate the correlation coefficient between motivation scores and the number of quality defects reported. Qualitative analysis sample size example. If the research involves qualitative interviews, Researchers may conduct interviews with 15 manufacturing employees to gain insights into the underlying factors affecting motivation and quality defects. Chapter 5 Conclusion In the conclusion chapter, researchers summarize their findings, restate the research questions, and offer implications for the manufacturing industry. This chapter plays a vital role in drawing a clear line connecting employee motivation to quality defects thus providing valuable insights for managers and decision makers. Chapter 6 Recommendations The recommendation chapter is of great importance as it offers actionable suggestions based on the research findings. For our topic, suitable recommendations could include Implementing employee recognition programs Companies could develop reward and recognition programs to acknowledge and appreciate employee efforts, fostering higher motivation levels. Providing training and skill development Offering continuous training and skill development opportunities can empower employees and enhance their job satisfaction, ultimately contributing to lower quality defects. Improving communication and leadership Building transparent communication channels and promoting positive leadership practices can create a motivating work environment, leading to a reduction in quality defects. And that's a wrap. We hope you found this YouTube video helpful in understanding the importance of the research topic, as well as how to draft each chapter effectively. For access to a preliminary version of the research topic, please follow the hyperlink provided in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more research-related content.